Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the co-main event of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the cage, Jeremiah Kurtry. Jeremiah Kurtry coming out of St. Charles Mixed Martial Arts, recorded tonight by Mike Rogers, Marcel Fortuna, and Jay Brooks. Julius Inglis. A lot of experience in that quarter. Absolutely. Seven fights in the Bellator cage for EJ Emmanuel Brooks. 1-0 under Dana White's contender series. 1-0 in Bellator for Julius Inglis. And 1-0 in uh, the Nemesis Fighting Alliance cage. Jeremiah's got a lot of experience in his cage in his corner tonight. Let's see if he can really put that to use to get some tough, tough up-and-comer in Benjamin, Mr. Alaska Bennett. I know in August he was supposed to fight as well, and, and that fight fell through, so as well as mine during that week, but that was just what we were dealing with in that environment back then. So I know he was hungry to get back in there. He got on this card. He's got a tough fight ahead of him, and we will just kind of see how this pieces together. Yeah. As we said many times before tonight, the fights are few and far between. Both gentlemen cycling through plenty of opponents before this fight this evening, and uh, I'm sure they're both ready to get out here. And now his opponent making his way to the red corner, Benjamin Bennett. Here's Ben on his way in. Ben hasn't fought in quite some time. He's under contract with a promotion called Brave over in Europe. That came after he won through the IMAF tournament. They offered him a contract, signed through there, and with everything going on, it's just been harder for him to get a fight as he's been working on tools and moving. Ben is very well-rounded. I could see him trying to shoot a takedown in this fight early. I could see him trying to stand his strike. I really don't know what to expect from him because he's been working out at elevation for a year. That is ab absolutely. You know, ben, ben Bennett, known to most fans as a uh, primarily a grappler, as you said, moving to Columbia to wrestle with the Hewlett Howe Academy, wrestle with... Uh, Jay Nyerman, those guys down in Columbia at the Grindhouse, and moving to the Wolves Den, training with Andrew Ebers, training with guys like yourself, training under uh, Drew and Grande, and now, I mean, his main training, his main training partners for this fight were Justin Gaethje and Neil Magny. They're pretty good. I, I, I think those guys have pretty decent records, wouldn't you say? Yeah, they're they're pretty good, man. I'd say they're pretty good. So let, let's let's look for the advantage to be in ben, Bennett's favor. And, in the grappling, obviously most guys coming out of St. Charles mixed martial arts, um, no no slouches in the grappling exchanges, but uh, when you got someone on the level as Ben Benjamin, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ben Bennett, I mean, it's gonna be uh, really hard to handle. His walkout song. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the co-main event of the evening and is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the NFA welterweight division. Brought to you tonight by Powered Up. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands six foot one, weighed in 170.8 pounds. He has a professional record, zero wins, one defeat, representing St. Charles MMA and fighting out of St. Charles, Missouri, Jeremiah Kurtry. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a tickle fight style fighter, standing six foot tall, weighed in 170 pounds. He has a professional record. One win, zero defeats. Representing Elevation Fight Team and fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Benjamin, Mr. Alaska Bannon. Do Referee in charge of the action, Tim Francis. Jeremiah Cartwright pacing back and forth, ready to get this going. As we stated before, fell through four opponents in the last two cards. Ready to show what he's got. Both fighters tentative early here, checking the distance as Jeremiah takes the center of the cage. The thing about Ben is Ben will be patient. He will read. He will move, he will just look for his openings here. Jeremiah pawn at that jab, nice little outside leg kick there. Let's see if he sticks with that. 
You know, a good grappler like Ben, you might have to chop his legs down early. Yeah. Smile from Ben, he's having fun. Yeah, you know, some guys, it takes a few punches for them to get going. They gotta realize they're in a fight before they, they get in there. But with somebody like Jeremiah Cartwright, you know, serious power in that right hand. He takes too many of those shots, he can put them out fast. And Jeremiah is landing on the front leg pretty good. Yeah, uh, let's look for him to stick with that, kind of control this first round here with those outside leg kicks. That's three straight without a return from Ben, but a good double jab combo after that. Ooh, nice flying knee from Jeremiah with a big combo. Nice standing guillotine attempt, switches it off as Ben goes for the double leg. Switches off to the single. Let's see if Jeremiah fights for that far side underhook. Good defense from Jeremiah there. Absolutely. Oh, it looks like Ben's got it. He's got his hands together. Got him done. Good exchange for both Ben and gentlemen there. Ben Ben with a nice takedown off the cage. Jeremiah working that Kimura grip, passes it up. Let's see if he can use that to uh, start to create a sweep here against the cage. Jeremiah with that outside leg high on the cage. Really, really should probably think about pushing off that to create some space between him and Ben Bennett here. Yeah, I was waiting to see him turn it and try and explode off of it. He's, he's doing a good job of negating Ben's left arm though, right now, because Ben, that's the arm and he could do damage to his face, cut him with elbows. Yeah, ben, ben doing a good job keeping that far side underhook, but you know, with Jeremiah got it, having his back against the cage here, it's really Ben's, Ben's ball game whether or not he wants to posture up and rain down shots. And Ben's doing a good job of being patient for being out for so long. I mean, he's got all that experience behind him, but he hasn't fought in a while, so he's not in a rush. He knows he's got five minutes around to work. As he said, you know, 1-0 and under the brave MMA banner, you know, fighting out of Abu Dhabi. Um, Great, gracious enough for those guys to let Ben fight out of his contract and take a bout with us. More cost effective too. Absolutely, for both sides. Good. Jeremiah doing a good job of keeping himself safe here. I'd like to see him dig that far side underhook with his left arm and work to get back to his feet. But notice, Ben's got that butterfly hook in there keeping Jeremiah from working that bottom leg out and getting to his full guard. Yeah, when you can pin that on somebody, that definitely helps just keep that leg down. Yeah, that, that, that outside butterfly really made famous in uh, the grappling world these days by Gordon Ryan using that to uh, really lock down his opponents from the top half guard. Oh, good elbow. Oh, nice K control there, wrapping the leg from Ben Bennett, taking a page out of Khabib Nurmagomedov's book. But Jeremiah, the grappling exchanges with Julius Angriscus and Marcel Fortuna really paying off here, getting back to his full, I mean, his half guard, working to get that full guard and that half butterfly. Back to the cage to see if he uses that to wall walk and stand to his feet. Ben doing a good job of killing that outside butterfly hook from Jeremiah here, though. One minute left in the round. Let's see if uh, Ben looks at just a dance position or stay content in his top half guard. So good hand fighting. He looked to press into the cage, step over and see if he could get both legs wrapped. Just didn't, Jeremiah wasn't having it. But you know, he's, he's doing a great job of killing that single butterfly hook, not Jer giving Jeremiah a chance to extend, create space and work back to his feet. Back to full guard now. Jeremiah just closed. Looking to up. turn an angle here. Oh, Ben centered back out. With that high foot on the cage, you know, the arm bar's prevalent, but you know, Jeremiah Curry, not exactly known for his jujitsu prowess, but let's see if he uh, works the set the triangle here. On the plot of sweep, let's see if he sets it up. Ooh, Ben with a nice hammer fist in the back there. And Ben smiling, having fun. Mr. Well, now to round number two. Once again, this fight is brought to you by Powered Up Nutrition. Powered Up products are made for one thing, results. If you're ready to start getting results today, then give their products a try. 
Visit Powered Up. That's P O W R D U P dot com. Jeremiah kind of needs to push to the fence a little more. Try and get his feet on the fence. Store on 35, 25 Hampton Street in St. Louis. He didn't take as much damage as he could have there. So he was protecting his face with uh, protecting. He was stopping Ben's left arm from being able to cut him, which is very good, especially because a cut can stop a fight, obviously. But to work up, try and get your feet in the hips, extend him out a little bit more, try a couple sweeps, bump him a certain way, maybe get an underhook come up and try and get back up. Use the cage if you need to. Yeah, active underhooks from Jeremiah. You know, we got we to see something like that. But, I mean, he looks like he's breathing pretty, pretty heavy there. Ben Bennett. Cool, calm, collective as the second round comes to fruition. And props to the ref for letting him work on the ground. Been, been taking the center of the octagon here early in the second round. Jeremiah content with keeping his back to the cage and pressing forward. Been with the fuller pressure. Yeah, Jeremiah kind of walking himself backwards into a, a in, into a, a corner, so to speak. Obviously, there's no corners in a cage like this, but you know, the angles obviously play a factor. And, and there goes Ben picking a shot. Nice oh, good spin elbow from Jeremiah. Ooh, good right. Ben had a good kick to the body too. Yeah, Ben egging him on. He eats that elbow and says, "Keep it coming." And like you said, he put him against the cage earlier. Big puts him in prime position. Coming. Takes him over to his corner for the takedown. Yeah, has his head pressed right up against the cage right there by Neil Magny. Rain and big, hot, big shots. Ref warns about back of the head. Jeremiah Kurtwright needs to dig an underhook with that left hand there. Fighting for that Kimura, but Ben Bennett doing a good job of cutting off that distance. Oh, wow, good nice sweep. sweep. Ben's right up. Feet. Comes another takedown attempt. Shot and uh -huh. reshot. Jeremiah needs to dig an underhook here. Fight to get his back out from under the cage. Big knee by Ben Bennett. Jeremiah just shelling up, looking for a big counter punch. Oh, good knee there. Big right hand from Jeremiah Kurt right on the counter. Got both hands clasped. Just good swing through takedown. Take him down at will so far. Jeremiah. Looking for that U team that passes it up as Ben passes into the half guard. And we're back to where the last, most of the last round was spent. Jeremiah needs to dig an underhook with the left hand and work to back, get back to his feet. Ben Bennett doing a good job framing off with the left hand, raining down with a hammer fist with the right. Keeping that heavy weight on him. Absolutely, not giving Jeremiah a chance to breathe here. Pinning down that far side arm that De Jeremiah's trying to dig in the underhook with. Two minutes, man. two minutes to work. Elbows to the body two too coming to from Ben. Two minutes to go here in the second round of our Nemesis Fighting Alliance professional debut of the evening. And he's doing a good job of keeping that forearm across the neck too, even in the break periods, because that, that keeps him pinned. There's no bucking of the neck, and it just it negates his breathing a little bit more too. Absolutely, using that to frame off, drop the short elbows. Jeremiah needs to dig that left underhook here to stop from giving up his back. Holding on to the head. Controlling the posture, needs to dig the left underhook to get back to his feet. Big body shot from Ben Bennett. A 
Knee shield in place. Can't use the knee shield and the underhook at the same time. So let's see if he uses that to push that off and dig the underhook. Nice short elbow there. And he's got that knee up. Getting a little bit of distance here. Ben's wrapping the legs again. Yeah, Ben doing a good job of controlling the legs every time Jeremiah separates and creates distance. Big body shot lands from Ben, the Alaskan kid, ben Benjamin. Ooh, big elbow from Jeremiah Kurt right as well. But Ben Bennett passes into side control. Jeremiah's got the underhook. Let's see if he uses that to dig up to his feet. But Ben doing a good job of killing that elbow and raining down shots. Just chipping away. Yeah, 2-0, Benj Benjamin the Elastin Kid Bennett. Yeah, Jeremiah is going to have to fight off the takedown and land something big to get this back. It definitely needs to fight for the On now to the third and final round. Once again, this fight is brought to you by Powered Up. Julius and Gliskis are telling him that there in the blue corner. And Ben's not giving him much to work with as far as getting up. I mean, he can get the underhook, but if he comes up even on a single leg from that, that's Ben's forte. He's doing a good job pinning him against the fence, which is why MMA should always be done in a fence, because if you did it in a ring, it just wouldn't be the same. Right, mo most guys fall through the ring right there, and there's no chance to work back up to your feet. Neil Magny in the corner of Benjamin Bennett screaming, let's go, let's finish this out here. Start of round three to kick off the professional portion of the card this evening. Nice show of sportsmanship from both gentlemen, but a big right hand leg for Ben Bennett to open up the round. Oh, Jeremiah got one back. This is how he's going to have to win this one. Oh, big left hand from Ben Bennett. Ben Bennett looks like he's really imposing his will here. Getting all the reactions he wants out of Jeremiah with the feints. Ben seems in great shape. Training in, in Colorado with that thinner air probably just seems to have tremendous benefits. Especially after getting pushed with training partners like Neil Magny, Justin Gaethje. You know. That body shot's open right there if he were to land it. Yep. Right back to the body, just like you said. Big spinning back fist from Jeremiah Kurgai. Ben opens his hand and says, that's all you got? Uppercuts and body shots coming. Jeremiah showing up here, really just waiting to fire and return. Comes another double leg. Swing through. Jeremiah got to have a really active guard here to really make some improvements. Trying to set up a triangle here, but Ben doing a good job of backing out. Jeremiah needs to come to his feet, and the referee waves him on. Really gasping for air here. Jeremiah Kuhlright got to put together a finish to close this out. Been showing good volume for a third round. Absolutely. We're not Jeremiah's egg anymore. Both fighters leaving it all out there. Jeremiah, like I said, really just throwing shots, hoping and praying. They can land the big one on Ben Bennett. Yeah, and Ben's trying to get him to shell up so he can land that big uppercut. But if he landed that body shot instead when he did that, Ooh, nice it would probably crumble. Him. Ben Bennett transitioning very easily to the side control there after dropping Jeremiah Kirby. Locking up that front heads up, headlock position to transfer to the far side side control. Hammer fist from the top side control from Ben Bennett on Jeremiah Kurtwright. 
And Ben's just been, he's been real happy to just hang in half guard and throw these. Yeah, no, no need to pass. He's dominating from every position on top. I mean, look for him to chill and just cruise out the last half of this third round. I mean, if you can negate the butterfly hooks and not give up underhooks, half guard's a great position for MMA. Easily, seemingly he's passing them out, looking to work that arm bar. Let's see if he takes the back position here with that far side Kimura control. Look for him to chair sit and sit to his left butt cheek to put that right hook in. Jeremiah doing a good job of fighting out and getting that arm over his head to prevent the back control. But that pressure there on that, that arm. Serious Ooh. pressure. Look, notice how he's keeping that elbow high and dropping those shots down. Keeping those are that legal. far side elbow high stops Jeremiah from turning into him, but he gives up the elbow control. He goes right back into the top heavy side control. About one minute left. Let's see if Ben can find a finish here. Jeremiah turning into that single leg really needs to dig up to his feet. But Ben doing a great job. Ben Good. got a head and arm attempt here. Arm in guillotine, switches it back to the top side control. Darce choke. Locks it up. Walk he turns his right hip down, he could call this a night. Yep, walking that hand up as tight as it can go. Let's see there he goes. Hand down. Look for him to fish that top leg over Jeremiah's. If he hooks the leg, close it off. I think that's exactly what Magny was just yelling at him. Jeremiah doing a good job of separating the hips. Still threaded, still pressure there. Threaded, but he doesn't have it's enough. Just not, that's that's it checkmate there. There it is. Yep, there, there goes the tap. Tap on the backside arm. Benjamin Bennett with the third round submission finish over Jeremiah Curtright. About 10 seconds left in that fight too, I believe. Yeah, the bricks clap and Ben closes it out. Dominant performance from bell to bell. Benjamin Bennett coming off a long layoff. Really, uh, really imposing his will there from, like I said, from bell to bell and Jeremiah Curtright from St. Charles Mixed Martial Arts. It's a very grinding performance and that's kind of what Ben can do. And he's got the cardio to go all day when he does it. And he was happy to be there in half guard and you know, it was almost like he waited for the right moment to wear him out and then attempt some type of submission because he was going for an arm bar and then he was trying for the head and arm and then arm and guillotine and then finally he landed the Darce choke. Yeah, he heavy top pressure there from uh, a, a great grappler like Ben Bennett. I mean, as somebody who's, um, you know, pre pretty well versed in the grappling exchanges like yourself, I mean, you can't ask for much better out of uh, Benjamin the Alaska Kid Bennett. No, a lot of... Uh, a lot of the pressure and just wearing down on somebody and that constant forearm in the neck, that does a lot to just wearing on him. He can just drop weight. But when he had that Kimura grip and was just lifting him up and hitting him off of the mat, I don't know that I've seen that very often. No, sir. You know, as, as we stated earlier, grapplers and MMA fighters, you know, granted, Ben, ben, ben Bennett 1-0 as a professional mixed martial artist, showing some world-class techniques. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Francis calls a stop to the fight. Four minutes, 55 seconds into the third round, declaring your winner. Fight tap out in a Darce choke. Benjamin, Mr. Alaska Bannon!